एस एस बी टू सक्सेस के ऑफिशियल चैनल को सब्सक्राइब करें और हमारी आने वाली वीडियोस के अपडेट पाने के लिए बेल आइकन को क्लिक करें ऑपरेशन विजय एंड ऑपरेशन सफेद सागर व टू मेजर ऑपरेशन लेड टू इंडियन विक्टोरी ड्यूरिंग कारगिल वॉर द इंडियन एयर फोर्स प्ले द वाइटल रोल इन टर्निंग द वॉर इन इंडिया फेवर During the war, Indian Air Force employed air power at an unprecedented 32,000 feet, and the short-term training undertaken by their pilots and engineers worked really well in identifying and eradicating Pakistani troops from their hidden nooks. In the roaring victory of Kargil War, the Indian Air Force added another feather to their cap in the name of Flying Officer Gunjan Saxena. She made history as she flew into a combat zone during the war, a feat which had not been allowed for a lady officer in the Indian Air Force. For this courageous task, she was later awarded with the Shaurya Chakra. Gunjan Saxena was pursuing an undergraduate course at Hansraj College when she came across the golden opportunity of joining the very first batch of female Indian Air Force trainee pilots. As second generation defense officer, she was not out of aware with the challenges and opportunities that came with her. Is life. Her father and brother were serving in the Indian Army at that time. The defense forces were not only majorly dominated by male officers, lady officers in the Indian Air Force had also not yet been given the chance to fly as equals with their male counterparts. Gunjan decided that she had to grab this chance. She cleared the entrance exam followed by SSB and the medical tests and joined the Indian Air Force as a pilot. Of course, lady officers were not then allowed to fly fighter jets but her batch had created history. Back then there were reservations about women pilots in the Indian Air Force. It was still unsure how they would cope with the mental and physical stress of flying the planes and attending any war. The Kargil war took a toll on the Indian forces and their resources. The Indian Air Force too was banking on each and every pilot they had. War times imply desperate times which in turn need desperate measures. So while female pilots had not yet been employed in a war zone, the situation demanded for a change in the situation. Hence, the women pilots were called in for duties involving tasks of medical evacuation, dropping of supplies, etc. Now came the time for her to fly. She and another courageous pilot, Shri Vidya Rajan, were entrusted with crucial duties in the combat zone. They were to be the first ladies to fly into combat zone and one can only imagine their fortitude in undertaking this sensitive and dangerous task. In about 10 sorties over the next week after training and enlisting of duties, flight officer Gunjan Saxena flew her chopper to air drop vital supplies to O Indian troops at high points in the Dras and Batalik sectors. In these journeys she also picked up the wounded and dead bodies from steep and unruly mountain ranges which speaks volumes of her skills as a pilot. She meticulously informed her seniors of the enemy positions and status which added to better strategies and ultimately contributed to the overall victory of the force operations. She carry a fully loaded Insas assault rifle and a revolver with her on the chopper in case she would have to battle her way over T of the enemy's areas on land. Her small cheetah helicopter would run through extremely hostile territories in unpredictable and perilous weather conditions. In a terrifying incident during one of her sorties, the Pakistani army fired a rocket at Gunjan's helicopter which was ready for takeoff. The chopper just barely managed to escape the attack as the missile missed it and crashed into a hill behind it in a deafening explosion. Her life was in danger throughout but she did not back down just as would be expected from a true soldier. Now it time to find out some lesser known facts about Gunjan Saxena. She was born and brought up in a family of soldiers where both her father and brother were in the Indian army. She always wanted to be the part of the armed forces as her father and brother were already serving in the Indian army. She moved to Delhi for her graduation from Hansraj College. There she joined Safdarjan Flying Club New Delhi to learn the basics of flying. After completing her graduation, she started applying to get a job as a pilot. 
In 1994, Gunjan Saxena got selected into the group of 25 young women, the first batch of women Indian Air Force trainee pilots. Her first posting as a flying officer was Udhampur in Jammu and Kashmir. In 1999, during the Kargil War, she got the opportunity to prove her mettle along with Sri Vidya Raj. Now, she flew her small Cheetah helicopter through hostile mountain territory to supply medical evacuation, spotting Pakistani positions, and rescue injured soldiers in the war. She proved her spirit brilliantly in the Kargil Operation Vijay and became the first ever woman pilot of Indian Air Force to do. So, due to the lack of opportunities for women in the Air Force, her tenure as a chopper pilot ended after seven years of service in July 2004. For her outstanding service in war zone, she was honored with the Shorya Chakra. She became the first woman to receive this honor. In the history of Kargil books, she is considered as the Kargil girl. Now, she is a homemaker, married to an Indian Air Force helicopter pilot, and lives with her family in Jamnagar, Gujarat. As per latest reports, Janvi Kapoor has reportedly been roped in by Dharma Productions to play Indian Air Force. The pilot Gunjan Saxena, who was the first woman to fly a chopper. While not much is known about the project at present, Janvi was seen spending time with Gunjan Saxena. We will update you after we get more information about the upcoming movie on pilot Gunjan Saxena. If you like this video, don't forget to share it on other social platforms. Also subscribe to the official channel of ASP2 Success and click on bell icon to never miss any update. जय हिंद